It is a very sad day for Michael Avenatti. Uh, the consequences he suffered before he even stepped into the courtroom today were massive. He is ridiculed, disgraced as a lawyer. He lost his ability to practice. He loved the practice of law. I think we have to recognize, as Judge Furman did, that for over two decades he represented the underdog, the oppressed, that he took cases to trial for all the right reasons that he achieved over $1 billion in settlements for victims who had no voice other than Michael Avenatti. And I think that the accomplishments in his life had a, had a role in the sentence, certainly, that was imposed today. He's distraught about his inability to practice law again because this is what he loved more than anything else. Uh, he suffered great personal consequences to himself, separated from his family. During the time he was incarcerated, as you may have heard in court, he spent time in the terrorist wing of the Metropolitan Correctional Center for a, a lengthy period of time not being able to communicate with his lawyers, his family, not even being let out of his cell. Uh, this was a horrible, horrible experience, and he paid a very significant and grave price. Uh, he hopes, as well as his lawyers hope, that when he completes his sentence, he will still be able to have a significant impact in the community, and it is his desire to do that in some way. How are you doing today, Michael? I think it went fine. You know, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I'm looking forward to the jury hearing all of the evidence and rendering their verdict, and I am confident that they will find me not guilty because that is exactly what I am, not guilty. The regular accepted theme is that this guy was a great lawyer, but when we took these cases over, he had missed dates uh, for appeal times on the uh, attorney's fee award against Ms. Daniels, nearly 300000 he had failed an interim appearance that was in default in a Texas case. He had uh, no files on any of the cases. He filed a suit or had another lawyer file a suit in Ohio. They named the wrong parties. I mean, his legal scholarship was seriously in doubt from the cases that we took over, and I hear that espoused every time he speaks, but it just is defied by what the mess we found. No. Michael, what happened? What happened, Michael? What? No, I'm going to be fully exonerated. It's been three years since she first discovered uh, what Mr. Avenatti had done, and she was devastated. Uh, and I got to commend this prosecution team for really carefully looking at this case and staying the course. Uh, we can be proud of the system, really, it did hell accountable to hold someone accountable for what happened here. Uh, so I'm, I'm proud of the system and happy for Stormy as well.